Hey, I want to segue into a, into some uh, wrestling talk, Billy. I want to know because I really heard how this the story got out there, and I still haven't really heard a clear reason of what what the uh, what the impetus was for this. So the big thing is uh is Vince is banning pe- banning his talent from using these these uh these other platforms. How what what how, where did this come from? What why, why did why did this become a concern for uh, Vince McMahon? Well, what do your sources say? Um, it's it, it's a collection of incidents that have come around over and over again, and it's been on the table. There's the, there's AJ's Twitch channel. Uh, I actually did this on on Russo's show. We was talking about it, and and it's ironic because it was a joke in our show, like where Russo gets me to go over bits of news that have been on my website during the week. And we joked that um, they had a conversation with AJ Styles because he was on his Twitch channel and um, he was asking about WWE and his son says, I don't watch WWE anymore. Um, so they weren't too, too, too pleased about that. He's attacked Heyman on his, on his channel. Um, he's spoken about having COVID, whereas they were trying to keep the names away. So there's stuff that's come through, through that channel. Um, there's, there's third party stuff through cameo where that's just the talent making money. But obviously, um, if WWE can charge people for, to go on the the WWE shop and buy voicemails or those voice or videos from wwe then wwe are going to want to have a part of that business so all of this stuff collectively is 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 to do with it and Meltzer's story about it being uh lana's commercial being particularly offensive to i think rusev's already addressed that and and how full of Meltzer is so that that wait, 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 wait. i don't know what you're talking about what so Meltzer specifically said that um, Lana's c- commercial for a energy drink that she promotes. Bang, was- bang, energy. All these Instagram models promote bang. Yeah, I've never uh, seen that. Okay. Yeah, it was- follow was- some of the girls you see him promoting bang. So. Yeah, that was the tip of the iceberg. But Rusev's gone out and, and, and buried him and um, and said that that's nothing to do with it. And uh, he's also said – he's gone as far as saying that Meltzer's going to go to hell for all the lies that he's told. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that, there's, there's, there's all that going on. But, yeah, I, that, that's not it at all. It's just – a collection of things over and over and over again. And it's just, it's just piled up to the point where he said enough. There's no one particular incident. There's just all these incidents that we've all been talking about for the last two weeks. So basically in, in summation, I'm sorry, Mark, oh, it's almost like, okay, you've got all these wrestlers out there, you know, that, you know, ignorantly or whatever, carelessly making the company look bad. And they're trying to rein that in maybe or no. It's not a case of them make like AJ Styles' channel has been largely responsible for things that that, that have made. Well, you know, if AJ's burying somebody that's an employee there, that obviously that's not something they like. No, and he's and he's buried and he's buried Paul, and he's talked about a situation with the club. Um, his son's come out and said, "I don't watch WWE anymore." Um, that there's a there's a load of stuff on it, but it's not it's not necessarily about the revenue. Unless it's the it's the people making the, the revenue and WWE feel like that they could have a part of that revenue instead. So when you're looking at Cameo, it's something that can easily be done. Hey, you want a video with Roman Reigns? Contact the WWE. Why would you contact Cameo, especially when he's using the name Roman Reigns? And that's why a lot of people have given him. But when you're looking at the fact that, a point there. Yeah. when you're looking at the fact that Big E is is owned by the WWE and and Roman Reigns is owned by the WWE, and if Bray Wyatt goes out and he does an appearance as the Fiend, that that's that the WWE created the Fiend. Maybe Bray created it in some way in his own head and had to name all that. But the people that trademarked it and have the action figures and the license and the paying his salary, that's going to be the WWE. So as much as we all want to come on here and. On the on the big WWE, and that's what every podcast seems to do. They seem to. Yeah, hate- no, but you have a point. There, there is a there's a valid point. Hey, we cultivated this brand, and we're the right. one promoting it, and we're giving it the platform, and we're paying them. Why is other companies well, making money, well, and we're well, working out in the dark? But to chime in on that, WWE is exactly within its rights to do what they're doing. Right. Uh, I mean, you you have AJ Styles's kid ripping the. Con- on AJ Styles' platform, I mean, you know, how could any company, you know, approve of that or even tolerate that? Uh, not, not that you can control a kid, but you can't control the platform. And let me tell you what all those WWE guys are going to do. If Vince sticks to his guns and says they got to get off these third-party platforms, they will all line up to kiss his ring and do exactly as they're told because that's what wrestlers do. I always laugh when I hear that wrestlers are going to form a union. As I tweeted the other day, if you put 100 wrestlers in a room, they could all agree to form a union, all agree on demands, all agree on collective bargaining. And the minute that meeting let up, 
every single wrestler would race out of that room and call the boss, be it Vince McMahon or Tony Khan or whoever, and rat out the meeting and try to make a better deal for himself individually. Because that is the nature of wrestlers, and that is the nature of wrestling. And when Vince makes a demand like this, even though it might seem you know, unfair to all the podcasters and bloggers and dirt sheet guys, he will get his way because he knows what his employees are like and how they'll respond to something like this. I got a question. I had heard – I had heard this and they, cause like I'm, I'm hearing like these, you know, they're independent because Cause here's the, here's the issue is they are independent, con- you know, they're, they're independent contractors. Okay. And making extra money on the side, you're telling an extra uh, independent contractor. They can't do that. I heard, tell me this is accurate. I heard Paige, uh, the, the, the girl that's not, she's not wrestling more. I heard she's making $40,000 a month on Twitch. Is that, was that a rumor? Is that accurate? Is it, have you heard that Billy? That I wouldn't be surprised because she should, she does it every day and there's like five ten dollar donations coming across. I don't know if it would be as high as that, but I mean she she she's not she's not stupid. I mean she does obviously that 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 stuff out with her on, on Pornhub, etc. But and she's uh, smart, bro, because she'll dress up like in sexy red cat suits exactly, and shit like exactly that. Where, exactly yeah. where I was gonna go with it. She's not stupid, she knows how to right. dress for the part. It's no different to these girls making money money on these OnlyFans sites and everything like that. She's obviously not gonna resort to that way, but she's found an alternative. Um, she's also changed the name up to Soraya as well. So she's not going to be running, get, making any money through the page name. And that's the thing, like the WWE owns all these names, licenses and everything, and it's not possible. And, and as I said, just to reiterate my point, I don't necessarily think this is over. I don't think this is a case of WWE turning around and saying to people, we don't want you to go out and make any more money. Because for years, people have been going through to places like Ringside Collectibles and they've been doing private autograph signings in their hotel rooms and people have been handing them two or $3,000 cash. This is what the wrestlers have been doing. They've been signing their figures and their promo photos and everything behind closed doors. And the WWE know about it and they haven't done anything about it other than create WWE Auction, their own website, and to sell their own signed pictures, which are now available at shows, which devalues the autographs anyway. So WWE have countered that in the best way they can. They will counter this in terms of they won't just say you can't do cameo. They will recreate cameo. I'm certain of it. There's no way that they will just shut this down. If there's a demand for it in WWE, see that they're going to end up doing it themselves. That that's going to be one of the main things I think you'll see come out of this.